So this question says a right triangle has legs with lengths of 24 centimeters and 21 centimeters. So I'm going to call this a plug-in picture to start just because any question that provides some description of something that can be drawn, I'm a big fan of drawing it. So here is my right triangle. I'm told that one of the legs is 21. Let me just do that there. The other leg is 24, so I'm going to do that there. If the length of this triangle's hypotenuse in centimeters can be written in the form 3 root d, 3 root d, okay, where d is an integer, what is the value of d? All right, well, the easiest way to do this would be Pythagorean theorem, um, which is on the first page of your math section in case you have forgotten it. But Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a and b are the legs. So in this case, we can say like a is 21 and b is 24, and c is the hypotenuse, right? So I'm going to have 21 squared plus 24 squared equals c squared. Go to my calculator. What is 21 squared? I'm getting 441. What is 24 squared? I'm getting 576, so equals c squared. 576 plus 441 is 1017, so 1017 equals c squared. I square root both sides, and here's where things get a little bit tricky, right? So um, if I square root 1017, I'm going to get a decimal, but I know, so here's the thing. I know that the square root of 1017 should equal 3 root d. Now, how did I get a 3 out here, right? How does a 3 come out of a radical? The only way that's possible is if 9 goes into 1017. And I'll show you why if that doesn't make sense. So I'm, I'm going to try 1017 divided by 9, and I get 113. So here's the deal. If I have the square root of 9 times the square root of 113, that is equivalent to the square root of 1017. But because the square root of 9 is just 3, this becomes 3 root 113, right? So that's how I knew that this 3 here is basically telling me that I need to use 9 as a factor for 1017. So here's my answer, right? 3 root 113. I don't want to go any further. I can't go any further. But even if I could, I wouldn't want to because by moving further from here, I'd mess up the 3 that I have here, which I know needs to be there. So D... My d value, the value that's inside the radical, must be 113. That is our answer.